That right front wheel is stuck. It's the start of our next session. In the last session, our goal was to get the car started, which we did, finally. And after we got it started, we, we discovered that there's an oil leak around the oil pan. So we drained the oil. Today, we're going to drop the oil pan and put some new RTV around it and hopefully get it back together and put it on the ground. But before we put it on the ground, we want to go through and double check all the nuts and bolts, make sure they're not just finger tight, but actually tight. So let's get started. Here's the oil that we drained out last in our last session. It's really black, and we're thinking that's from the assembly lube because it's brand new oil, Mobile One. But we're going to take off the oil pan and put some new RTV on there because we got some leaks somewhere. So let's get started. Well, that was some shaky video. Never put the camera on the table with a bench grinder. Anyway, wire wheel got most of it. It's good enough. Now we need to go scrape the uh, RTV off the engine block. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, time to lower it down and see if it'll roll. We didn't put any oil in it because we want to wait until the RTV cures out. So we'll put that in in the next work session. But right now the right front wheel seems to be locked up. So we want to figure out what's going on with that. But first we want to get on the ground, see if we can just kind of push it. And maybe by pushing it, it'll disengage whatever is keeping that tire from turn that wheel from turning okay we're trying to roll it but that right front wheel is stuck so we need to figure out what's keeping that from turning this is the start of our next work session i forgot to start filming earlier but we've already put the oil in the oil back into the engine, ran it through a paint filter. Now we're gonna lower the suspension and adjust the dampening. So we'll be ready for Barber in Birmingham in February. Not gonna make it to Atlanta though. What else, anything else? Nope, we're just slamming it. Okay, we're gonna slam it. Yay. So let's get started. All right, what's the plan here? All right, first we're gonna measure this distance, then loosen this nut, to the point where we want to adjust it to. Then we'll start turning this and driving that down to take up that, that space. So how much are we lowering it? 1.1 uh, inches. All right. So we're gonna start loosening that. That was pre-loosened, by the way. So, okay, so we're gonna measure this, which is Approximately 2.65. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to lower it to 1.55. There. And so then we're going to move this ring up. Okay, and that's going to be about the final position of that. Man, that thing's gonna be slammed. Yes. All right. Okay, we lowered it 1.2 inches and now we're tightening down the jam nut. <clears throat> Keep it all locked in there. Is it jammed? That's how it's jammed. It's jammed.
So we've lowered the front and rear suspension by about 1.2 inches on the front and one inch on the back. Now we're going to lower it, put the wheels back on, lower it down, see what it looks like. If we're happy with the look, it's all about the looks anyway. If we're happy with the look, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. But we want to get this side dialed in before we do anything on the other side. It's our next work session. We've only got two people working today, so it's, and it's also going to be a pretty short session. We've only got two goals today. One of the goals is to get the, the wheel to turn. The wheel doesn't turn when we tighten the lug nuts, and we think it is the brake, brake caliber, I don't know what you call it. I'll show it to you in a little while. And the other goal is to lower the other side so that it matches the height of this side. So, let's get started. These bolts are too long. Maybe they're hitting the, the uh, rotor. Maybe we need to stack another washer on there. So we'll give that a try. The other thing we're going to do is, because we lowered it, this uh, seam would cut into the tire when, it, when the uh, spring compressed. So we bent this one back some yesterday, but we still have to do the one on the other side. So I'm going to take this off and work on this right now. After inspecting the bracket, it looks like we did have it on right. So I think we're supposed to have an extra washer on here so that when it comes through, it doesn't hit the rotor. I think I'm going to look for a thicker washer or stack some washers to pull that away from the rotor. And that hopefully will solve our problem. I added an extra washer on there, and now the threads don't stick out. I think that's what was hitting the rotor when we tightened up the uh, wheel. So I'm going to put in the other one and give it a test. Okay, none of the uh, bolts are coming through so they shouldn't be interfering with the rotor which is good but like a moron I tighten them both up before I put the rotor on so now I have to loosen this loosen one of these up swing it away put the rotor on and tighten it back up adding those two extra washers to the bolts Seems to have solved our problem because got it tightened up and it's still spinning and that's what we want. And I think that's going to be a wrap for this session. Don't go away because the next work session is starting right now. This is the start of our next work session. Today we're going to remove the wheels on the driver's side, lower the springs to the same height as the ones on the passenger side, and then take it for a spin and see what else we need to do before we go to the race in Barber in February, which is in about five or six weeks. So let's get started. I had to take the wheel back off again and the reason why is we need to bend down this flange here because we've reduced the travel or at least maybe not the travel we've shortened the suspension to the point where the tire may get sliced on that flange so we're going to bend it over and try to flatten it out so I'm hopefully not slice into our tire and I'm going to get started on that right now
we just finished bending up that flange that was going to uh, slice into the tire or could potentially slice into the tire. Now we're going to put the wheels back on, lower it, and see if it runs. Fingers crossed. We finally got it on the ground and check out that camber, just what we needed. And there's still room for more adjustment. Let's check out the other side here. Yeah, we definitely need alignment. Yeah, we need to align this thing. We're taking it for a test drive. I just got back. It seems to be running okay. The exhaust pipe is only an inch and a half off the ground, and that was scraping whenever we went over a bump. I don't know if we'll do anything about that or not. Kurt's going to take it for a spin now. I didn't hear anything scrape that time, so that's a good sign. I guess we can sweep up the garage now that the car's not in here, huh? Does it feel, yeah, does it feel any more powerful with the... Well, Kurt took it out to the street. Luckily, he didn't get pulled over by the cops. That's going to be all for this video. I wanted to put a video up there just for our two or three fans before the holidays. We ordered some tires, brake pads, and brake rotors. We're getting new rotors because we noticed that ours are getting a little too thin for our comfort. We're also going to be adding something to the front of the car for some little extra downforce, so stay tuned for that too. After the holidays, we'll be installing all of those, so be sure to click that bell so you'll be notified when we upload the video. We've paid our admission to the Lemons Race in February at Barber Motorsports Park in Birmingham, so now we're committed. So let us know in the comments if you're going to be going there too. And finally, if you enjoy the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button. We'll continue making them if people like them.